Okay, my wife's gas stove burner rack here is in need of replacement. These things cost two bucks, but she's probably purchased about six in the past six months. So I'm just gonna take these pieces of flat steel here and fashion something that will last a lot longer. Anyone in need of a bending jig, shoot me an email and I'll give you a discount. I want to thank Bruce Butcher for his latest generous donation. Uh, he mentioned to me in an email that wouldn't it be great if everyone gave a buck. And I wholeheartedly agree. Anyway, thanks a lot, Bruce. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to go about bending this piece on the flat, but anyway, this is how I'm going about it. After all these years, this forge is still working like a champ. However, I want to make a new one with different dimensions and with a blower. Recently I've been including a small piece of pipe, as you see here, as a spacer for thinner stuff like this. No, I'm not treating my vice like a dog would treat a fire hydrant. Just trying to get this thing secure. That finger wipe right there will earn me a couple of dislikes at least.
I'll make the rivets out of this copper rod. As with most stuff like this, I have a general idea in my head, but am mostly just making it up as I go along. The pot racks that my wife was buying, the $2 one that I'm replacing today, is like most modern day throwaway stuff. Uh, it really is just a, a wasteful culture. It's things that you buy and it seems like a bargain. You just use it a little bit and then you throw it away. So that makes me feel that a blacksmith item such as this uh, helps in just a very small way to have something that's not throwaway. And on that point, as another example, Recently I had to replace a flexible water hose, the one that goes to the hot water heater. Uh, it was leaking, so I bought a new one, and after a week the new one was leaking. The washer had given out, so I bought another one. It was also like a $2, $3 item, and the second one also gave out in less than a week. So it's, it's typical of a lot of things these days. It makes me think that there's no quality control, that stuff is made to be disposable, and that's really a shame.
Look at this highfalutin gas burner pot rack. A couple of sheet metal screws keep it in place. Got your small frying pan sitting nice and flat. Got your larger skillet here, also nice and flat. Toss on a teapot for our spot of afternoon tea. As a friend of mine is so fond of saying, good enough for this job. I'll catch you guys next time.